Have you heard about cow farts killing the environment? For the record, it's actually more so cow burps. The central molecule at play is methane. Got a gas stove? Well, you're burning methane. So what is methane? And what is the Inflation Reduction Act doing about it? It's one of the big three greenhouse gases. The EPA found that in 2021, methane made up 11.5% of the US's emissions. And while there's not as much of it in the atmosphere as carbon dioxide and it doesn't last as long, its warming potential over a 100 year span is 28 times that of CO2. Talk about packing a punch. In the US, 35% of methane emissions are caused by fossil fuel production, with oil and natural gas systems making up 29% of that, and coal mining causing the other 6%. After that, a whopping 25% comes from livestock's burps and farts, and burps more than farts. An additional 8% is caused by manure management. Then we have landfills, which create 15% of methane emissions since trash emits the gas in large quantities as it breaks down. Now, let's not forget that methane also occurs naturally, like when dead plants and animals decompose in wetlands. Researchers say that as the climate warms, emissions from those natural sources might also increase. Methane pollution from fossil fuel production typically brings health-damaging air pollutants, aka HDAPs, as well. Those chemicals are known to cause serious health issues in surrounding areas, often low-income and communities of color. This is a huge issue, but there is some hope. Methane emissions in the U.S. decreased by 16% between 1990 and 2021, according to the EPA. And thanks to new policy, they're hopefully about to take a sharper downward turn. The Biden administration passed the largest climate bill in the U.S. history last year, the Inflation Reduction Act. It has a few key measures that address methane specifically, housed under the Methane Emissions Reduction Program. Yep, MERP. MERP will charge oil and gas producers $900 for every ton of methane they waste over industry targets beginning in 2024, update the greenhouse gas reporting program so the EPA can better track just how much methane fossil fuel companies are actually producing, set aside funds to reduce the health impacts of methane for low-income areas and communities of color, as they currently feel the strongest consequences, expand methane monitoring and look into new tech, and find ways to plug up old and inefficient gas wells so that leak too much methane. MERP is putting more than $1 billion into these programs, so they'll hopefully have a big impact. However, the oil and gas industry is just one place where our methane comes from. We'll need to keep reducing methane emissions and those of other greenhouse gases at a much quicker rate in order to keep the Earth under 2 degrees Celsius of warming, which scientists warn is necessary to avoid complete climate breakdown.